Hi everyone, um, I've got another unboxing for you today and yeah, as you probably know by now, I'm a bit of a, I love a special offer, I love a bargain, I love a free gift and a lot of times I think brands and shops must see me coming because I'm always suckered in by the free gift offers. Um, yeah, but I was on Twitter last week, as you do, um, trying to avoid the dramas that happen on Twitter, seemingly like a daily basis. Um, whilst I can understand some drama and what have you, I'm not a one for it. I'm not a drama llama. I really don't go on Twitter for that. So usually I just log straight back off as soon as anything like that's going on. But I happened to see a tweet from Look Fantastic. And basically what they were offering was a free gift um, if you subscribed to their beauty box. Now there was no subscribing conditions. Um, you didn't have to like tie into a year's worth of boxes or anything like that. You could have one box or you could go for however many. Now the thing is with Look Fantastic, like with most of them, the more boxes that you sign up to, the cheaper it actually is. So I decided to sign up for the three month boxes. Now I've tried Look Fantastic before and I wasn't crazily impressed, I've got to be honest. But you know, everything deserves a second chance and you know, a free gift was a free gift. So I've signed up for another three months at $14.50 a box, um, which hopefully will turn out in my favour, but if not, I got a free makeup palette out of it. Now, what you got was a palette from Illamasqua. I don't own a lot of Illamasqua, because unfortunately the one Illamasqua counter that was near me in Fenix actually closed down before I even got the chance to visit it, which was really unfortunate. So I have bought, I do buy the odd bit online and what have you, and largely I've been impressed. Only thing, I've only had one or two things where I can honestly say, mm, didn't like that very much. But you know, you win some, you lose some with all brands. Um, and the lip kit I got and reviewed over uh, just after Christmas was amazing, and I loved all the lip colours in it. So check my blog out for a few of the View reviews. I've got some nail polish and things reviews on there as well. But I don't own a lot of the eye products. In fact, I'll be lucky if I've got hardly any. I've got um, one of the pigments and I've got some of the liquid metals and I think I've got some of the pigment, like the cream pigments. But that's about all I've got. I did have a few shadows, but I've got to say I didn't like them, so I sold them. Um, so, um, yeah, what you got free with any subscription um, to the Look Fantastic Beauty Box was a eyeshadow palette from Lamasque. And that's what it looks like. And it is the exclusive Look Fantastic palette, which reminds me of a couple I've actually seen before from La Masca. But we'll gloss that over. Now, this is what it looks like. And it's all like very autumnal browns and golds and sort of orangey shades. So that's what the colours are. Now, it says from top left, so that's Servant, Tango, Terra, and that's Vernal, I think. So I'll just do a little swatchy swatchy so you can see what they look like. Okay, pigmentation is crazy. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. That's, so that's what you got. Um, they're usually about £29 deal of mascara palettes. But um, as I say, I'm happy to try it. I was curious enough to actually go for the subscription off to get that palette for nothing. So that's what I've done. So we'll see what is in the first box. Now the first box that I've got is April's. Um, and I got a complimentary copy of April's L magazine. So that's the magazine. I already had that because I have been a subscriber to L. Um, and obviously this is last month's issue now because May is out. Um, so um, yeah, this was May's issue. Um, I'll pass it on. I always pass my magazines to my godmother or friends or something. I actually don't buy as many magazines as I used to, but nice freebie. And there was a nice perfume sample, Paco Rabanne Olympia inside of it. So that was nice. So anyway, so that was that. What that was that. And this is the box itself. Um, and it's the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. And it is Natural Beauty is the theme, I think. I think they've got themes. So I've seen no spoilers, so I don't really know what's in this. So excitedly rips open the tissue. And you get a little magazine. The beauty, the natural beauty edition. So um, something smells nice already from <laughs> opening that. Um, and then tells basically April edit, what's in your box? 
Their Beauty Rules, Infusions, Exfoliation, Healthy Look Makeup, Beautifying, Brazils and Bananas. Basically recipes, superfood recipes and things like that. As long as it doesn't involve chocolate, because I'm just about chocolated out at the minute. And then it's got an article on Aveda products. So there's your magazine. And this is what was inside. Right, a little leaflet on Madara Cosmetics. I think, is it Madara? I've used some of their products before, but that's what that was. So it's a little card on that. And um, Madara Smart Antioxidants Fine Line Minimizing Cream D, dry to very dry skin. Well, this obviously is not for me straight away because I do not have dry skin in the slightest. My skin pumps out oil faster than a broken oil well, basically. Um, rich use preserving cream with an anti-defined smart antioxidant complex of lichen, moss, fern, alkamilla and delivers intense hydration and targets the first signs of aging. I think my mum would probably like this. She has much dry skin than I do and obviously she's a little bit more prone to aging than I am. But no, it's good size anyway. 20ml for a length serum is pretty decent so that's good. So as I say, I'm probably not going to get a lot out of that. I'd be better with the Fine Line Minimising Day Fluid. They, apparently they offer a fluid and a cream and I've got the cream where I'd be better off with the fluid. And no matter, that's only the first thing. Right, ooh, now this is interesting. Right, how do you say this again? Is it Omrovitska Vixa? Omrovitska Budapest Cleansing Foam. Now I've wanted to try something from this brand for a long, long time now. Um, I've seen a lot on their face masks, um, they do pose you to a nice cleansing balm and I've seen things on a mud mask or something maybe. And basically it's a cleansing mousse, it's a 25ml cleansing mousse. Um, I love a bit of froth and foam on my face, I know it's supposed to be the worst thing for your skin, but yeah, I might can handle it, I've got tough skin. So that's what that looks like. Oops, a little. There we go. Omarovitska. So look forward to giving that a go for morning cleansing wash. Ooh, Perfect Legs Skin Miracle. A tinted multivitamin serum to help cover and help cover skin imperfections. Massage in the skin can be used all over the body and that is from This Works. So perfect your legs for photographs. I've actually got to shoot some photos of my legs for a blog post I've got coming up. And yeah, it's how do you do it to, yeah, not to be obscene, not to reveal too much leg, um, yeah, um, it's for leg, it's for hair removal post, I normally just photo my legs disembodied, so you can't see the actual rest of my body, but, um, we'll see, we'll see, I've got to photograph my legs anyway, but I think this would be cheating slightly, but definitely give that away, go, cool. that sounds really interesting, I have to look up a bit more about what that is and what that's supposed to do, so that's that, and that is a 10 mil size, so it's all, Probably room for half a leg in my case. I may not be tall, I'm, I'm only about five foot eight tall, but my legs are like ridiculous. My dad was six foot three and I had the same length of legs as my dad, which is crazy. Um, right, next, ooh, caviar. I don't know how I feel about caviar and things, but it seems to be in a lot of things lately. I've got a hair product, um, product review coming up on the blog and there's caviar in that as well. And I don't know how I feel covering my head in fish, fish scale, fish eggs. It's very conflicted, a lot of ingredients in, co in cosmetic brands today. Um, I had a lash serum to review um, and it contained snail filaments and I just felt really, really sick about that. I know it's supposedly all this stuff can do you good, but as a vegetarian I feel really conflicted sometimes with things. Anyway, Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfecta. Um, Perfects hair in 10 different ways for complete moisture, shine, smoothness, wet softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protection and light hold. Apply evenly to clean, towel dried hair and style as necessary. Can also be used as a finisher on dry hair for added protection. So, let's see what it's like. Just looks like, just looks like a hair conditioner. It smells very nice anyway. Ignoring the fish eggs, ignoring the fish eggs. Hmm. Hmm. It does smell very nice. It smells quite nice. 
like the smell of that anyway. Anyway, that's, oh, Altona, Altona. Right, okay, they're a really good brand um, for hair. I've only tried one of their products before, but that's the brand, and that is 25 mils. So that would be quite pricey because their shampoos and things are quite pricey. Oh, another one of these. Um, as I say, these never come in wrong. Um, it is the Mercy Handy Flower Power Love and Hand Cleansing Gel. Um, I think this is exactly the same one I got in a recent box. I don't know how well you can see that. But that's what it is. Hand Cleansing Gel. Really nice. I do like the smell of this one, if I remember rightly. But, um, and as I say, if you use public transport, which I do occasionally, uh, you need these for things for touching anything. I've seen some horrible things on public transport, I really have. And it makes you want to like wrap yourself in cotton wool before you even get on the bus and like spray disinfectant all around you. Um, but hand gel, always useful, never coming wrong with me. And this, I've also had this before in another beauty box. It is the Vitaminesque Pomegranate Moisturising, Firming and Lifting Face Mask. Moisturising Korean face mask made with extracts of pomegranate to moisturise and lift your skin. That's from Vita Mask. A moisturising Korean face mask made with to moisturise and lift your skin. Inspired by Korean Invasion, a triple layer sheet technology designed to enhance the moisture content within the mask and lead to an increased absorption rate within the skin. Now, I do love the idea of these sheet masks. Um, partly because there's not much to wash off. I do. I am partial to a bit of clay mask. Um, I've got one here. I've got my current favourite here, which is the Kiel, Kyle's Kiel's. Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I love this, it's really good. But oh, coming to wash it off, it takes some washing off. Um, so these are really good. I think these are actually better if you've got drier skin. So in the summer months and hopefully in the winter and the summer months, these are ideal. I actually need to start using some of these now. I've got quite a little collection of these and I've definitely got a cop got this one as well. I've already got one of these ones, so I'll definitely give that a go. Um, yeah, 20 minutes with nothing. The only thing is with face masks, I've got to take my glasses off and I'm literally blind as a bat without my glasses so I have to do nothing other than relax because I can't see anything to do anything but I'll definitely give these a go um as I say if ever I finish a product or I've used a product always check the empties at the end of every month on my blog and I'll tell basically I do mini reviews of what I've thought of everything that I've finished so hopefully I will be starting to put some face masks in there and the final product is the winner as far as I'm concerned I love this product. I really love this product. Um, and they've even sent me it in my shade, which considering you don't fill any any um, forms to say what you like, what you dislike, and your skin colour, I think that's pretty decent. Um, so well done. Look fantastic for that. Um, right. And basically what it is, it is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. Um, foundation and this is in the shade Fair. Now I can actually wear three shades of this. I can use porcelain, fair and medium in the summer. Um, I can literally wear any of the shades which shows you how adaptable it is depending on your skin tone. I think they've each got about is it 10 or 12 pigments in them. You can see they're all the different colours. I'll do a little switch. There, that's what it looks like. This is ultimately one of the easiest ever products for foundation. I've recommended this to my godmother and everything because it really is that good. Basically, you put that, you swirl it with a brush, you swirl it over and over your face and just when you think you've blended it, you blend a little bit more. You put a little bit more on if you like, but you, you never need as much as what you think. You never need very much. And literally, it leaves your skin even matte and smooth. Is there anything that this doesn't do? You can also use it as over the top of liquid foundation. Um, you can also use tiny little bits of it, use a smaller brush and use it for spot coverage. You can even pick some of the darker shades out maybe and use them to eye for eye concealer, eye contour. Um, it is the ultimate lazy girls product um, or the busy per person's product. Um, she sells an awful lot of this. Laura Geller was on, written only on QVC UK. Now I think you can get it in some Debenhams and House of Fraser stores. It's still cheaper on QVC. Buy it on QVC. You can obviously get on. Look fantastic now. But um, buy it on QVC. Buy the kits on QVC. I get lots of the kits and they're really good. Um, and this is the perfect mini size. This is 1.8 grams, which is perfect for your handbag. 
um, and literally this will last forever because don't think it's a powder because it's not a powder in the conventional sense what they are they're supposed to start out as like multi-pigmented creams which they bake now if you ever ever get to the bottom of it it is actually a terracotta like circular tile at the bottom i've only ever finished one of these because obviously i switched my colors up throughout the year so i've only ever finished one of these and i was just like yes it is a terracotta tile at the bottom because they literally last forever but this little size is really good good opportunity to try it and as i say for me who already loves the product it's brilliant for my handbag and my makeup but um carry around makeup bag so definitely pleased with that right what can i say i have to say again lots of little sizes products again that's the one thing that as i say i think was my issue with look fantastic the last time but there are actually a couple of products in here that i'm really excited to try the omrovitska or, or, or um, whatever that brand um that's really interesting mercy hands i'll definitely use hair product looks interesting and um, the madara serum cream i probably won't get a lot of use out of because it's not really for my skin type so i'll probably pass that on mask is good and then of course i got the yellow mask product for subscribing so um i've got another two of those to go and then i'll see how they go after that whether i continue or whether i just decide yeah fine i've tried it again um we'll see but it was worth it for the yellow mask palette giving that a go and as I say, that Laura Geller product has made me super happy. So, yeah, happy. Right, I'll leave a link below to how you can find out about the Look Fantastic box, beauty box in your own right. Um, and I'll also give an indication of how much it is, what I paid for. And I'll also give you a list of everything that I've mentioned, everything that was in my box and sizes. Um, and where it's a full size, I'll indicate that as appropriate. So you can see exactly whether it was worth the money or not, or whether yeah whether you think it wasn't it's up to you um as i say these boxes are always a risk they're always a risk if you don't know what you're going to get um but i like i enjoy the surprise i enjoy the surprise and i enjoy trying new things even if you find one or two things out of every box that you like then it's well worth i think it's well worth it for trying new things so let me know your thoughts below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel um for more videos um lots of more unboxing videos and things but the next one will probably be a haul video and it should be a primark haul so thanks for watching and i will see you really soon